Hello everybody. Today we're going to install the oil cooler and we're going to work on the cowl, specifically the air intake for the oil cooler. So I've got the cowl top and the bottom part connected and we are now figuring out how the oil cooler air intake should be inserted. And we didn't figure it out yet, but first we're going to install the, um, the oil cooler, which means that we have to uh, first unscrew the oil filter which is inserted in the engine probably during test runs I guess in the factory and the installation kit has a, um, a thermostat uh, which opens if the temperature of the oil gets uh, I think over 60 degrees centigrade and then it, uh, it's going to the oil cooler so we first unscrewed the oil filter and inserted the, uh, the thermostat and uh, thermostat can be slided to a specific position so you have to figure out which position to take uh, this can of course be different for for different engines um, and uh, yeah then we have to install hoses now I tried several ways to uh, to cut the hose with a hacksaw and other stuff but actually it it really screws up the um, the steel sh sleeves that are around the um, uh, the, the oil hoses. So the best way to do it is use a Dremel and um, then use the nut of the connector and insert that one uh, which is a uh, it's very hard to do you can see it, we do it here uh, you have to push the hose into the uh, into the nut and uh, simultaneously turn it with, uh, with a wrench um, after a few times I figured out that the best way is to just push very hard against the hose into the nut against uh, yeah, the workbench for instance or something of a wooden beam and then the other one just turns the nut with a wrench also when you insert the connector apply a little grease or oil to the hose we do that here because without that I tried it and it's really really hard to, uh, to insert the, um, the connector into the nut almost impossible you have to it feels like you you break it so be careful there the hoses are routed around the, um, the crankshaft, the, the flange where the propeller is uh, mounted to. I'm not sure why. Probably it's the best solution considering the, um, the space because uh, there's not much space of course there. And there's another problem that we have of course we have a um, air master propeller which has a electrical uh, governor and the, the wiring going to the uh, to the propeller is um, is routed via a rod and that rod goes really really close to the to the hoses so you have to be careful there we are looking at both the insulation for the engine and the uh, propeller as you can see we are mounting the um, uh, the bracket for the propeller, <coughs> the, the the control rod for the propeller, as you can see here. And there's not much space, but it works. And uh, yeah, we were considering going over that rod, so making a longer loop, but decided that is not the way to do it. Also, it would be probably problematic for the um, the uh, upper cowl to fit. So here we um, create the lo last hose and actually it went better by the way so uh, once you've figured out the best way to do it it's easy as you can see we're just pushing against the workbench and then uh, turning it around that works best and then inserting the um, the rest of the connector we do that on the side and in the, in the in the vise so it's off camera Okay, so we have routed the uh, both the uh, in and out hoses to the um, to the oil cooler, coil cooler, and now I have to figure out, uh, yeah, connect them and also use some tie wraps and some protective material to uh, prevent shaving the um, the hoses against uh, the sump
Meanwhile, I'm checking the um, the tablet where the uh, interactive installation manual is from uh, UL Power, which is really nice because you can work on a specific topic and not just uh, uh, read it from, let's say, from f front to back. I don't have a, um, a torque wrench that big for the oil cooler, so um, we use a <laughs> use an old-fashioned method, namely uh, a scale, and uh, that way determine the um, torque. Okay, with the oil cooler installed, we can now uh, focus on the the cowl. So as you can see, we have, the, we have the bottom cowl, and there is a specific extra part, which is the oil cooler intake, uh, which needs to be fitted, uh, which is hard because we, we didn't figure out in the beginning how it should fit. And uh, both parts need to be trimmed, but where? And uh, again, if you trim stuff and you screw it up, then uh, you're doomed, because then you have to buy new parts. <clears throat> and it was very hard to determine how it should how it should be done. Uh, finally, I figured out that I need a kind of a wedge shape to make the in intake kind of slide under the uh, the bottom part of the uh, the cowl. As you can see, we we, we make that match wedge form here, um, and that actually went quite good. So this way we can. Uh, kind of slide the uh, the air duct uh, into the cowl, uh, but we'll finish that up in a in a later uh, video. Okay, uh, while um, while the cowl is uh, is drying, I was working on um, the air boxes for the uh, the engine, cooling the engine, and. Yeah, they are delivered with the UL power engine, so that's really nice. Okay, continuing building my pie in the sky.